Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Karuna, resource person from the department of ECE. First unit contains the following topics. Functional unit, basic operational concepts, bus structure, system software, performance, one human and Harvard architecture. In this topic, we will concentrate on performance of the system measurement. So nowadays, world is running too fast. So computers also should run at faster rate. While performing any task by the computer, the performance may be affected by the following factors. Those are hardware design, instruction set, compiler designs. Most important measure of computer is how quickly it can execute programs. To achieve better performance, designer of the computer system must consider the factors, hardware design, instruction set design, compiler design. Coming to the hardware design, if the small cache memory is incorporated with the processor on a single chip, then the performance can be improved. So here processor can access cache memory quickly than the accessing of main memory. So that the accessing time of the memory is reduced. So speed of operation is increased. So we can say performance of the system is improved. Coming to the processor clock. All processor circuits are controlled by the timing signals known as control signal generated by the clock. Now, whenever processor perform the instruction, processor divide that instruction into a sequence of basic steps. Each sequence of basic step requires one clock cycles to execute. So, let us take here P is the time duration of the clock cycle or we can say machine cycle. So, the inverse of the time duration of the machine cycle nothing but clock rate. Clock rate can be increased to achieve better performance by reducing the time period of the clock cycle. Now, this is the performance equation. T is the execution time of the program. N is the number of actual instructions present in the program. S is the number of sequential steps required to perform one instruction such as fetching the instruction, decoding the instruction and executing the instruction. So these three basic steps are required to perform any instruction present in the program. So here execution time of the program can be reduced by reducing the number of instruction and by reducing the sequence of steps required to perform one instruction and by increasing the clock rate so that better performance of the system can be achieved. Coming to the pipelining and superscalar for example so instruction requires three basic steps so each step requires one machine cycle. Suppose if the basic steps are 3, so it requires 3 machine cycles. So another instruction takes another 3 machine cycles. So each instruction requires 3 steps. So 3 steps require 3 clock cycles or 3 machine cycles. Here, uh, what is pipelining? Pipelining is a technique where multiple instructions are overlapped during execution. In the first instruction execution machine cycle, it fetches the another instruction in the same machine cycle. So here the fetching of next instruction and execution of the current instruction happening in the same duration. Execution times are overlapping. So that uh, pipelining is a fetching the next instruction while executing the current instruction. Uh, so this may reduce the execution time of the program. Coming to the superscalar operation. Superscalar computer consists 
मोर नंबर ऑफ एलयूज व्हिच परफॉर्म्स मेनी ऑपरेशन साइमल्टेनियसली सो एग्जीक्यूशन टाइम मे बी रिड्यूस्ड देन स्पीड ऑफ ऑपरेशन ऑफ द फ्रीज इंक्रीज्ड देन वी कैन अचीव द बेटर परफॉर्मेंस बट कॉस्ट इज वेरी हाई coming to the clock rate i already told you clock rate is nothing but the inverse of the duration of the machine cycle time duration of the machine cycle so here uh, there are two possibilities to increase the clock rate if you reduce the time period of the machine cycle clock rate may be increased so that speed of operation may be improved uh here and also we i already told you the fabrication uh, of the ics ics nothing but adder circuit uh, subtractor circuit and logical circuits if the design of all these circuits or we can say fabrication of all these circuits with high moon vlsa technology so that speed of operation may be increased so that we can get better performance of the system so coming to the risk and risk risk means reduced instruction set computer risk means complex instruction set computer so instruction set computer consists of small number of instructions simple instruction requires less number of sequence of steps to execute one instruction complex instruction requires large number of sequence of steps required so a uh, reduced instruction set computer consists large number of instructions each instruction having small number of sequence of steps so in this case uh, t equal to n into s by r that is performance equation so here to reduce t n and s n and, n and s should be small but in this case of risk n is large s is small okay so there is a trade off between n and s now coming to the complex instruction set computer this set consist complex instruction but complex instruction require large number of sequence of steps in this uh, set consist less number of instruction and large number of steps required to perform one instruction so here also there is a trade off between n and s n n is small s is large so to reduce uh, execution time of the program this two parameters n and s must be reduced so to improve the performance of the uh, computer we can use pipelining mechanism with this two uh, risk instruction set computer and complex instruction set computer coming to the compiler compiler translates high level language to machine level language so in this whenever the program consists less number of instruction compiler takes less time to compile so here if the instruction set and the number of sequence of steps required to execute one instructions are reduced then compilation time automatically reduced so that we can achieve better performance of the system coming to the performance measurement so performance of the system can be measured with the help of benchmark program nothing but standard program and with the reference computer so non profitable organization called system performance evaluation corporation given the formula spec rating equal to running time on the reference computer by running time on the computer under test so according to this spec rating measurement is the time required to execute given benchmark program so after completion of this test test is repeated for all programs in a should the mean of test results will be computed to get performance of the system so here in this equation spec rating is given by the mean of all the programs spec suffix i whole power 1 by n n nothing but the number of programs present in a should okay i is the spec rating of the ith program in a should so with the help of this uh, uh, spec we can measure the performance of the system summary so performance of the system may affected by the hardware design instruction set and compiler design so this performance of the system can be improved by 
modifying the equation t equal to n into s by r so t is the computation time of the program t can be reduced uh, execution time period t is reduced then speed of operation is increased then performance of the system may be improved so here t is reduced by reducing the number of instructions and reducing the basic steps required to perform one instruction and by increasing the clock rate so and also this performance can be measured with the help of uh, spec rating and also indirectly we can measure with this help of spec rating os performance compiler performance and memory accessing performance coming to the question is like what are the factors affected on the performance right performance equation how the performance related to hardware design thank you we will meet in next video